this was shot with the cool pix p900 nikon um, my settings uh, i was in the movie mode um, iso set at uh, 400 on this part um, which is a little bit too overexposed i have my reasons for my insanity um, white balance was set at um, on daylight minus three and I was in the um, the picture control was on vivid um, I like other people to try these settings too and when you're shooting a star um, or one of the wandering stars um, you know play around with your ISO um, and your white balance um, you might find yourself getting uh, some really good video, um, just like I have here on Jupiter. Um, I'm going to pause it right here, point out this uh, moon transiting Jupiter. Also, if you look in some of my later uh, parts of this, you'll see one almost in the center and one to the top right um, of that uh, dark the dark line. Now you see me throw it out of focus. You can't see the moons, any of the other moons. And again, I'm set on a um, um, a higher ISO than I like. Uh, best ISO usually is set at uh, 200 or the 125. Um, I find those are the best settings for getting Jupiter, depending on how clear it is. If you've got haze in the sky, you're going to have to go to that 200. Um, if you you got a real nice, clear, beautiful sky uh, where not a lot of haze, you can go to that 125 because you're going to, um, Venus is, or Jupiter is going to shine, shine, shine. So it's so bright, you got to turn down that ISO. I did shoot a little bit of Saturn um, this night, um, but uh, I. I'm not going to share it because this video is already going to be too long. Um, I I was out there probably an hour and a half filming this. Um, a lot of time spent on it, folks. I mean, yeah, it is boring. Um, I'm not going to put you through watching um, you know, an hour of <laughs> me tracking this, but I did reset my uh, ISO higher. I believe this was at 800, might have been at 16. Um, all I wanted to do is, uh, you know, see the, the moon, see where they were at, see how many there were. There was three. Um, usually there's four or, or even five I've seen at one time. Um, The, the big thing is, um, like I always say to people, is, is you, you know, that focus is really important. Um, and you can even, uh, you know, when you're, you got your ISO set higher, if you throw it out of focus, you can see how the, the moons of Jupiter will react just like some of the stars. They'll go all kooky, show you this mysterious look, but yet it's out of focus. You get it in focus you get a nice little beam of light, um, point of light, and that is in focus, because when those are in focus, Jupiter is usually in good focus. And that's how I I actually use those moons for Jupiter to get Jupiter in focus, because when I can see those moons, you know, when I'm on the 400 uh, ISO setting, um, I'll shut my camera off, um, you know, stay, stay pretty much zoomed in. When you shut your camera off, it'll go back to a certain zoom, but, you know, you change your ISO down to uh, 200 or the 125, and then um, you'll get a little better uh, results as far as, uh, you know, you'll be able to zoom back in without having to refocus it to keep that focus. That is a big thing. Now, if you notice, uh, that little black dot that was in the center is also moving to the right. 
Um, and like I said, there was one above uh, that dark band, but I'm not certain on that one. But I'm pretty sure that one to the right is something because, like I say, it moves along. And again, it cannot be the shadow. It cannot be the shadow of this moon um, that's uh, going across because as it's moving, it, it's uh, also moving, but it would, uh, the, the sun is, <laughs> the, the sun is not way off to my right, folks. Um, if anything, it's directly behind me because it was almost midnight, but even at midnight, or should I say, like, if I go outside at 12 o'clock noon, the sun's still, um, it's not directly to the south of me. It's lagging. Um, it's a, it's between 1 and 2 o'clock where to be at my high. You know, I'm somewhere in there. So, um, you know, the moon or the sun would have been more to the right of my shoulder. And I did slow it down on a couple of these portions. Um, just so you could see it a little bit better. And again, um, you can't see the moons now because I've turned down the ISO, um, you know, so low that you, you know, those moons are not going to shine and uh, stand out for you. But later on, I I do in some of these littler clips, um, I turn my ISO back up because I wanted to see if uh, anything resurfaced on the other side where I could actually visually see it. Um, but again, I think I was a little... Um, too soon because again when you turn up your ISO Jupiter actually it gets bigger because of the light uh, emitting from it um, it it isn't as small as this um, again because of its light emission so it could have been still right on the edge and I wouldn't have seen it um, just like in that um, Oh, the second part of the... Well, I don't know. I can't... It, it, one of the prior parts I showed it uh, with the ISO turned up higher and you could not see even the shadow of that uh, moon transiting Jupiter. So again, you know, a lot of this is about focus, about the amount of light that you're letting into your camera. Um, I, I didn't mess around with any of the... Um, saturation, contrast, brightness, or nothing in this. This is all just pure camera. Uh, nothing added. Um, so again, um, you know, it just comes down to patience. And believe me, you got to have a lot of patience. Doesn't this remind you of playing Atari? Uh, Bing, 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 Bing. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I gotta laugh. Uh, again, I mean, I probably could have just showed the the first portion and the last portion of this and just made a separate video showing all of it going all the way through regular time. But again, I don't think many people are that interested in watching an hour of Jupiter bouncing across my screen. Um, I do this more for myself than I do for anybody else. That's why I don't really show a lot of my uh, wandering star and star videos. Um, number one, um, <laughs> I've gotten attacked for them before um, because some people think when they're out of focus, they're in focus or that's what they really look like. Now some, uh, some clouds came through. I thought I was done for the night, but... Um, they were just little thin clouds, so it didn't uh, didn't bomb me out. Um, but again, um, I'm going to slow it down here in a second, and uh, you'll see it at regular speed. As I know, uh, you know, all this bouncing across the screen can make you dizzy. I know it's making me dizzy. But somebody might say too, you can see the rotation in this, but. I got to tell you, if you really think about the way you set your camera up, if you was to take your camera and put it on a tracker and you turn your camera um, 90 degrees instead of having it, you know, straight out, leveled out in front of you like you'd taken a picture, 
you turn it completely sideways, you mount it, um, track Jupiter, the sun, the moon across the sky, when you get to the other side, it's just opposite from the other side that you were on when you began. So it all has to do with perspective, the way you're turning your camera. Now, does that, do, am I saying that uh, the moon doesn't rotate at all? No, I'm not saying that it does not rotate at all. I'm just saying that it's us, our cameras rotating as we're tracking it a lot of times that will over exaggerate that rotation. Um, and that's all I'm saying. So don't beat me up on that. I know some people will want to, uh, but that's my opinion and I'm going to stick to it. Um, I have a uh, a lot of opinions. <laughs> Are they worth the shit? I don't know. It, it's up to the person that's listening or watching my videos to determine for themselves uh, what they want to take from it and what they want to leave from it. Um, I don't claim to have all the answers. I don't claim to be the smartest or the sharpest pencil in the box. All I know is I'm not the dullest one either. Um, Again, it takes a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of patience, um, a lot of mosquito bites, uh, standing too. Because um, well, at least when I'm out at the beach, I can put my uh, tripod down low and sit down and watch it at least. Um, <clears throat> now, on some of these uh, shorter videos. That are fixing to come up. I change my ISO. I go through different settings on the ISO. Um, again, I was just looking to see if uh, one of these moons have come off of Jupiter, or if one of these moons is even hugging Jupiter. Is that a possibility that one of them is actually hugging Jupiter real close? Um, it's a possibility. Um, I'm not going to exclude it because I'm not out there watching it 24-7, which you can't do anyhow. Um, but, you know, you you can film. Um, I, I think you could probably get Jupiter during the day up to a certain point, um, depending on where the sun is or where it is in the sky and where the sun is related to it. But uh, I know I've tracked, uh, I think it was Saturn. Uh, one time, really late after the sun come up in the morning, I tracked it for 45 minutes as the sun was coming up. Um, but if you lose it, you probably won't find it again. Um, and I had to stay on it. I couldn't um, go back out of it when it was off to the right of the screen. I had to back out uh, off of it when it was on the left of the screen and then zoom back in on it right away. Now, again, you can you can see how I turned my ISO up, but I believe this is like at 3,200 or 6,400. Uh, and I am a little out of focus on it right here. Not much, not much, but I am a little bit out of focus. And it's, it's hard to catch the perfect focus, especially on uh, when you got that ISO set way up high like that. Um, everything gets all fuzzy. Um, as you can see around Jupiter, it's all fuzzy. So would I see something right on the edge of Jupiter? No. Um, and again, it makes it bigger. It's obvious it's bigger. Um, I did a comparison, and they, they definitely was bigger. So you can take my word for it, or you can take screenshots. Um, now, it's not quite as big here. Uh, because I turned down the ISO a little bit. I think I went to 800 on this one. Um, and I do, uh, somewhere along the line here, I do go over to the fluorescence setting. I think the last portion of it, I go to, uh, to the 125 and the fluorescent. Uh, again, um, I think I went to the fluorescent here and I turned it up uh, to, this one looks like the 6400. The other one was probably 32 or 16. This one looks like the 3200. 
and again I didn't track it very long on some of these uh, and again I do have it set tw two times the speed now here again um, I think I'm at 400 on this one it looks like it yeah I went back to 400 and I, I it's kind of hard to tell you if I'm if I'm on that uh, uh, fluorescent setting I, I don't think I am I think I went up and down on the uh, the daylight setting I think it's just yeah this next piece is uh, where I go to the fluorescent setting and I'm on minus three let's see if it if it is yeah this is where I went to the fluorescent um, and again much smaller you start seeing that um, it's it's past noon high because it's wanting to go more on a downward trajectory instead of uh, straight across my screen and if you see here I'm having some focus issues because I changed everything I think I had to shut my camera off I changed my battery too so uh, now I'm trying to get that focus again um, and I wasn't using the stars to get that focus but I think I pretty much got the proper focus here and again you can't see that uh, other moon or the other shadow or whatever that was um, I'll leave it up to y'all just um, you know like some uh, feedback like somebody's opinion um, I don't want anybody's insults. Um, be be civil. Talk to me. I'd rather talk to somebody than um, you know get insults thrown at me because all it does is, is just causes more insults to be thrown around and thrown around back and forth, and nobody's happy with insults. Um, and then I believe I I set this at regular speed. This last portion right here. Um, just so you can see from the very beginning to the very end that this thing went all the way to the middle in about an hour. So it took almost a half an hour or an hour to go to the middle of Jupiter from the edge. All right. And I wasn't going to stand out there another hour. Uh, the mosquitoes were starting to bite. And I was getting very bored standing out there by myself, talking to myself on the camera. And I deleted all my audio because there's something going on with my audio and my camera. And it's a little too late to send it back under warranty. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.